think what a model is actually giving the therapist and the child or the parent and the child or the teacher and, or, and the child or the foster care and the child a common language. I have no doubt that children who are traumatized and who have suffered complex trauma actually know that there's something going on inside their brains. They know they are not like other children. They know they struggle. They know they are the odd one out. They know that people don't like them. And actually inherently they just feel rubbish and bad about themselves. And I think then of course we as adults are coming with our behavior language, which is just adding to all the badness of the child. You've really been naughty. You haven't listened. You haven't behaved. You haven't done as I told you. And there will be some sanctions and etc. which is just adding to all the badness that the child already feels. Because if we put demands on children to behave in a specific way, we are actually saying to them, you have to work with your cortex and your thinking brain and think what you do. Think before you behave. How many times do children hear that? Without really knowing, that when there's any trauma trigger or for that matter very often the thinking brain is sleeping is not present and within that Renee spoke about these exercises doing these exercises every day and I thought well at that point I didn't quite understand why it would work or how it would work but as a therapist or as any professional we have to either do good or do no harm and I thought, you know, if I, if I get this, this lad sitting, strong sitting, doing butterfly flaps, saying good things about himself while he taps on his shoulders, what, what harm is going to come? I thought it's, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for it and I'm going to try it. And nobody was more surprised than I was at, at what happened next, which was the, the wobbles began to significantly diminish. He... Um, we were able to process the trauma. There was one trauma in particular that he was sitting with. We were able to process that as soon as it came out into the therapy room. And following that, he was, he was just so much calmer. He was able to sit more in class. Um, and a few months later, I've gone back and the wobbles have now stopped. Um, readings improved, writings improved, concentrations improved, he has friends, he gets invited around friends' houses, so socially it's improved, relationships at home have improved.